All right, coming to you live from OpenStack Summit here in Austin, Texas with Dustin Kirkland of Canonical. Dustin, how are you? Good, thanks, Martin. Awesome. Well, so big news recently with regards to Microsoft um, and Ubuntu. Maybe you could tell us a little bit about what happened. Uh, yeah, so, um, you know, Microsoft's been a good partner of Canonical's for, um, for some time now around Azure, Ubuntu and Azure, uh, Azure Stack now, Microsoft's on-prem uh, cloud solution. Uh, they approached us a few months ago um, about bringing Ubuntu to the Windows desktop. And it was um, kind of a, wait, what sort of moment? And um, as we drilled down into it, it, it turned out to be a pretty cool opportunity. So Windows, uh, the, the Windows kernel team at Microsoft has built a layer called the uh, Windows Subsystem for Linux. Uh, and what that is is basically a syscall translation layer. Uh, it takes Linux system calls and translates those into Windows system calls so that uh, open, read, write, um, you know, the, the, the sort of the traditional Linux system calls can execute in a Windows environment. And in doing so, um, they asked us to partner with them and deliver the, uh, the user space, the user mode piece of that. And so what we did was we, we take an unmodified Ubuntu root tarball, uh, the same root tarball that we maintain for, for Microsoft in Azure Cloud, and uh, we've made that tarball available in the Windows Store. And when a user types bash on their Windows desktop, uh, they end up in an environment that is effectively Ubuntu minus the kernel. So you talked about your reaction when Microsoft, wait, what? So what has been the, uh, since then, sort of the feedback you've been getting? Uh, I'm sure a lot of surprised people. Uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah, uh, and you know, with good reason from from all sorts of uh, all sorts of areas. There are uh, the, some people who you know feel like we've compromised on some of the values around Ubuntu uh, by by working with Microsoft on this. And honestly, I, I couldn't disagree more. We're bringing open source software to more people than ever before. Um, you know, we're talking about uh, we're talking about a lot of people who have Windows maybe given to them or forced on them. You know, a, a corporate requirement to use a Windows desktop, uh, and these are people who can now use uh, Linux binaries, can use VI and SSH and RSync and FTP just like they would on Linux. Uh, you know, we're talking about uh, going over to your grandmother's house and helping fix her computer and being able to do so from a from a Windows uh, uh, from a Windows system, but in a in a Linux shell. Um, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about showing the world, uh, the Windows world app and uh, you know everything we've done around around open source and making those those available to, to Windows Windows users. Um, developers and this is really I think Microsoft's interest here is in attracting the developer environment that largely you know largely we run we run Linux, Linux uh, Linux servers, Linux uh, uh, utilities. So just to, to conclude with, uh, to the extent you can talk about it, what's next for Canonical and uh, Microsoft? Well, uh, we're bringing uh, 1604 to to the to the Windows subsystem for Linux, Ubuntu, uh, in, in inside of Windows. Um, that's important for us. We, we we started our work on 1404, uh, given that Windows is in the process of releasing another Windows 10, and we were in the process of releasing another Ubuntu 1604. We just we had too many moving pieces, so we decided to keep. Uh, 1404 uh, available for release, but we're working hard on, on 1604 inside of Windows. Um, so that should be coming, you know, any day now in, in the next couple of weeks probably. Cool. Dustin Kirkman, thank you so much. Thanks, Barton.